Hello, I'm gonna show you how to make a Christmas tree out of some paper scraps. So you need, these are all half an inch by two inches long, okay? So half an inch by two inches long. So you need one yellow or gold one, and that's gonna be for the star at the top. And I'm just using a pen to round it off. And you're just gonna do it kind of like a, a teardrop over the, the marker. And just kind of hold it there for a minute just to make sure. Not necessarily a whole minute, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that's done. And then you need two for the next row and three for the next row and four for the next row. And then you need five for the next row. So let's go ahead and do these. And you can use decorative paper or cardstock. I've chosen just cardstock. It's always so fun to make different things for, for Christmas. It's 14 total. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yep, 14 green ones or whatever color you want your tree to be. And then one either yellow or gold for the top or whatever color you want for your topper. And then you need two brown ones for the bottom. <laughs> that's funny this is thicker this isn't actually cardstock it's brown brown cardboard from the uh, from the Christmas rolls wrapping paper rolls there, I'll stick it on there that'll hold it together in here just to hold them there that'll be good okay so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the five bottom pieces and you're gonna put a little glue between each one so there's that one and next And I'm using tacky glue, so it is holding fairly good, thank goodness. Okay, so you can let that dry. Okay, then you're going to put four together.
these dry. And you're going to put three together. And you'll let these dry. Then you'll put two together. Then you'll let those dry. Now let's go back to the brown ones. What you're going to do is you're going to put them together this way. Because that will make your stump. So you need glue on the top portion and up to the side. there. Just kind of hold that together. Now I'm wondering if these are... I should be able to do it this way. Yeah, if I do it like that, that should work. There, let them dry that way. All right. That'll work. Okay, let's let that dry. All right, so now we're going to go back to this one, and we're going to do this. We're going to put glue on the bottom, kind of on the side, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, and the side. Okay? Because then this is going to be squeezed in between all of these ones. I guess we didn't really need that bottom portion, did we? We just really need it on the sides. Okay. That'll work. So we need those sides really good. All right. All right, so then we just need the side in between, in between. That's what I should have been doing was in between and then on the side. Okay. So then those are stuffed in between. Oh, don't you start falling apart on me now. <laughs> okay. There. All right. You really should let these dry in between, but I'm like trying to rush it here. Okay, on one side and the other for the yellow. my luck by doing that. Okay. And then this, of course, is going to go in there. So a little bit on this side, in the middle. A little bit on that side. There. Make sure that's flat on there. Works better with the glue gun. <laughs> but it works with the tacky glue too. Okay, and then this is just going to be glued right down on the bottom here. Like so. 
So, but I think I'm going to try to form this into a little bit more of a square. Dry. That's better. Once it dries, you can stick your pen back in there and you can maneuver them around a little bit so that they're more rounded. I think we need a little bit more blue in here. Isn't that a pretty little tree? Nice little ornament for a Christmas tree or for on top of a package. So what do you think of that? If you like this idea, give me a thumbs up, please. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.